Welcome back to BroTune, everyone. Today we're going to do action screw torque. We're going to find out what torque works best in my CZ 457. Stay tuned. Conditions today for this torque test. Welcome back to BroTuned everyone. Today we're doing action screw torque testing, starting at 25 pounds at 50 yards. What do you think the results are gonna be? Let's find out. I've already shot 20 foulers through a clean bore. So we're fouled for the CCI standard velocity we're using in this test, because we're gonna be shooting a lot of groups. So let's uh, see what we can do. I'm gonna try to do three groups at least per torque setting but I have the option to do five up there. So we're gonna start at 25 foot-pounds and I'm gonna see if we can get some tight groups out of the CCI. Here we go. Group number one. So that was the first five. Might have to come up maybe two tenths to keep it in the squares. Group number two, here we go. My little aiming dots are pretty small. Maybe we'll do two more at 25. Then we'll do an average for all the groups in that torque setting. And then we'll do a final, final evaluation at the end. And we'll decide what the torque value for this rifle should be. And we'll go from there. Group number three. That group's not too bad. Now, group number four. Gonna burn through a lot of CCI standard velocity in this test. But eh, what you gonna do? More trigger time for less money equals awesome. So, just keeps getting tighter and tighter. So we'll see what the last group will do here. Another super nice group. For the standard velocity anyhow. I'm gonna jump at 27 inch pounds. First group at 27. The next one I'm gonna move right a bit. Okay, I'm gonna pull on One tenth of a mil, and let's go for group two. Oh. Uh, 
What are we going to use now? In the case it didn't eject all the way and block the chamber. That was group number two. Let's see what group number three looks like. Group number three. Not looking so promising. Okay, and final group. Oh, that was a nice one too. So on this one, I decided to jump up to 30 inch pounds and go from there. The reason why is I was having a little bit of trouble getting the screws to even turn at one inch pound difference. So going up three, there was a slight movement of the, of the action screws. So maybe there's a difference. I'm gonna move my, my point of impact down a little bit so I don't hit my little dot there again. Only went down to one tenth from the last group. Well, that looks good already. Next group. Let's pull right one tenth. That one opened up a bit. Next group. That one also opened up. Group number four. Last five, group five on 30. Mm. 30 looked all right. Now we're at 32 inch pounds. Let's get our five five shot groups in and see what we get. Next group. It's a nice group. Third group at 32 inch pounds. Let's go let the wind die down a sec here. I'm assuming that was wind. Onto group five. Well. That concludes our torque test. Let's check out the results and go from there. All right guys, got all the results in. I got all the groups measured and I averaged out 
all the groups by torque reading. So we're going to go through all the groups now. 25 inch pounds, 0.7 inches, 27 inch pounds was 0 0.66, 30 inch pounds, 0 0.51, and 32 was 0 0.66. First one, 0 0.73, the second one, 0 0.99, third group, 0 0.66, fourth group, 0 0.66, and the fifth group, 47, 0.47, with an average of 0.70. So we're almost at three quarters of an inch at 25 inch pounds at 50 yards with CCI center velocity. The next one we went to 27 inch pounds on the action screws. The uh, first group was 0 0.79, 0 0.60 for the second, 0.88 for the third, 0.67 for the fourth, and the fifth one was a good group at 35.35. So, with a, an average of 0.66 at 27 inch pounds. So we're getting better as the uh, torque goes up. Next we went up to 30 inch pounds, so that's 3 inch pounds more than the last group. And this is the one that made the biggest difference. So the first group was 0.27, which was a really tight group. The second group was 0.65, third 0.68, fourth 0.48 and the fifth 0.48 with an average of 0.51 so we're pretty good with standard velocity at 0.51 50 yards that's beating a lot of the more expensive match ammo that I was using and the final group was 32 inch pounds first group 0.61 second group 0.38 third group 0.56 fourth group awful group, 0.91, and the last group, number 5, at 0.84, with a group average at 32 inch pounds of 0.66. We found our node of accuracy around 30 inch pounds, so I think we're going to stick around 30 inch pounds on the action screws with this rifle, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and checking out all this data. We'll catch you next time. Take care, guys.